moving to Las Vegas checklist. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Why, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we're going to go over a stress-free relocation guide when you are moving to Las Vegas. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but real quick, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to help with that YouTube algorithm. So let's get started. Are you considering a move to the shimmering oasis of Las Vegas? The vibrant city known for its dazzling lights and lively atmosphere has plenty to offer new residents. But before you pack your bags and make the move, it's crucial to be well prepared. To ensure a smooth transition, we've compiled a comprehensive checklist to guide you through the process of moving to Las Vegas. Vegas. Mm -hmm. And on a side note, I work with a lot of clients from out of state relocating to Vegas. So I would like to think that I am an expert in the field. Yes, I see it all the time. Yes. So before the move, number one on the list is research your new home. Start by researching the various neighborhoods in Las Vegas. Now each area has its unique character and amenities. Consider factors like proximity to work, school districts, and lifestyle preferences when choosing your new community. And if you want to learn more about all the different neighborhoods in Las Vegas, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com where I've gone over all the master plan communities that Las Vegas has to offer, and a lot of them have videos too. Yes. Yes. And number two, you would want to create a budget. Las Vegas offers a range of cost of living options, so it's essential to create a budget that aligns with your financial goals and lifestyle. Number three, find housing. Begin your search for your new home. Whether you plan to buy or rent, explore the housing market and determine which neighborhood search your needs best. Yes, and if you are looking to buy, that same website that I mentioned Neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. Neighborhoods Inside those neighborhoods is a list of homes for sale. Unfortunately, I don't work with rentals or people who want to move to apartments. I do work with individuals that are looking to buy in Las Vegas. Just a side note on that. And number four, obviously, you want to secure employment, right? You want to be working to be able to afford this whole move. <laughs> if you already don't have a job lined up in Las Vegas, begin your job search. The city offers diverse employment opportunities in various industries, so prepare your resume and start networking. Hmm, yes. Number five, schools and education. If you have children, research local schools and understand the enrollment process. Ensure that you have the necessary documentation for school registration. And also to help in that search, I would go to niche.com and key in Las Vegas to find the top ranked schools to help determine where to live. Yes, very useful, very important website. Yep, yeah. or greatschools.org. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, that's yep. a good one too. Number six is healthcare. Set up a healthcare plan in Las Vegas. Find a primary care physician or healthcare provider and consider transferring medical records from your previous location. Now I do see a lot of comments about how poor healthcare is in Las Vegas. I've been a resident for over 30 years. I've always had Health Plan of Nevada, and I have always been happy with their service, uh, the ease of making appointments, and also the availability of doctors. And I don't just use them for my yearly checkups. I use them for other things that come up along the way, and it has been very easy. And if you're a veteran, they take very good care of you here as well. Number seven on the list is a change of address. Don't forget to update your address with the post office and notify your bank, credit card companies, and other important institutions if you plan on relocating. That's very important. Yes, don't forget to do that. Yes, uh, especially if you want your mail. <laughs> and so that was before you move. Next, we're gonna talk about after 
you move to Las Vegas, there's important steps that you need to do right after you move. You mean and, the job's not done? No. And the first <laughs> one obviously is unpack, right? You need to unpack to make you feel comfortable in your home. Focus on your essential items first, such as kitchen and bathroom necessities, and gradually work your way through it all. Yeah, that way by the time a year's over, you finally got through all your stuff. Now, I'm the type of person that I have to have an unpack like the next day or so. I can't live in un cluttered mess. You've actually had a few clients recently who've been just like that too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And it's exciting to redecorate your house, mm -hmm, in my opinion. Is. Yeah, super exciting. Number two, DMV and vehicle registration. Update your driver's license and vehicle registration to reflect your new Las Vegas address. Familiarize yourself with Nevada's specific DMV requirements. And I do believe now, because we had a client tell us, if you have out-of-state license, you have to mail the plates in. Oh. Do you remember the Zambranos were telling us about that? Yeah, I think so. Artie was telling us that. Yeah. I think there's new rules on turning in your old state plates and getting new Nevada plates. So like Damien said, read up on the rules. Yeah, because they also have like on special days, you can go in there without an appointment, but the rest of the time there's like appointments too. Yes, so there's a lot of them take appointments on. only, especially probably with the new driver's license. And number three, explore your new city. Ooh, that's a fun one. Yes. Get to know Las Vegas by exploring the neighborhoods, attractions, and local amenities. Las Vegas offers a vibrant and diverse urban landscape worth discovering. Yes, which goes along with number four, which is socialize. Make an effort to meet your new neighbors and consider joining local clubs or community groups. Building a social network can make the transition smoother and more enjoyable. Yeah, there's also when you move into a community, the Nextdoor app where you can get to know your neighbors there as well. And number five, emergency services. Familiarize yourself with local emergency services, hospitals, and nearby healthcare facilities. It's essential to know where to go in case of a medical emergency. And then it goes with number six, which is your legal and financial changes. Update your legal documents, such as your will and estate plan, to reflect your new residency in Las Vegas. Consult with local professionals as needed. That's important, especially if you buy a home that's in a trust. You want to make sure that the trust is transferable to the state of Nevada, or you will have to create a new trust. Mm -hmm. Relocating to Las Vegas is an exciting adventure, but careful planning is key to a successful move. This checklist will help you stay organized and prepared for your new life in the entertainment capital of the world. As you embrace your new home, remember that Las Vegas offers a wealth of opportunities and experiences just waiting to be discovered. Good luck with your move and may your journey be filled with excitement and success. Yes, blessings to you. Yes, we hope that this relocation guide and checklist has helped you when you relocate here to the Las Vegas Valley, let us know in the comments if we may have missed any important checklist, you know, item. And if you're looking to buy a home, you should reach out to Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor at 702-370-5112 and she'll help you find that perfect place for yourself. Exactly. Make sure, most importantly, that you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because we love talking about Las Vegas and, of course, neighborhoods in Las Vegas. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.